This is a video to help describe how to set up payload uh, information in FANUC robots. So uh, we've got this cell here. We've got an R2000 125L. It's going to feed these two machines here. Um, there's a conveyor system that's being set up right now. And the thing that always bugged me is this stupid screen and that unit which took me about 30 minutes to figure out how to manipulate into something that I can understand because I don't I don't get what that unit is and then SolidWorks gives you a moment of inertia unit that makes sense so here's how I did it so this unit is a kilogram force times a centimeter times a second squared, which is a really strange way to describe inertia. But this is what it really means. Kilogram force is one kilogram times by G. So that's 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we gotta convert that to centimeters squared. So we just, uh, 100 centimeters per uh, meter gives us 980 centimeters per second squared. So kilogram force is a kilogram by 980 centimeters per second squared. Fanuc calls for this. So, a kilogram force times a centimeter times a second squared is kilogram force in centimeters times by a centimeter times by a second squared. The seconds cancel out and the centimeters uh, multiply. Then what we get is 980 kilogram per centimeter squared, which is a unit that most people understand. So now we have a conversion between that and that. But SolidWorks doesn't give you this, they give you this. So then you gotta do a little bit more conversion, uh, millimeters to centimeters. So there's uh, 10 by 10, so it's 100, millimeter, 100 square millimeters per square centimeter. That's not too crazy. Um, then you get uh, one kilogram force centimeter per second squared, which is the unit the FANUC likes, and then you can take that from SolidWorks and uh, basically you divide whatever SolidWorks gives you in kilograms meters per second squared divided by 98,000. Boom! There's your answer. So let me show you a few more details of how I did this. So uh, this comes in a variety of, of different, I don't know, looks, different configurations. We're going to work on the double length. So we're picking up this giant stick of stuff. Oh, hey, I'm a terrible cameraman. Let's try that again. Anyway, um, so now we're going to do this one. It's pretty straightforward. You just... Uh, go up here to mass properties sorry filming with left hand driving with right hand it's not going well and the numbers we care about are right there those are the principal moments of inertia about the center of mass so it's this px py and pz now note that the coordinate system in solidworks is not the same as the coordinate system in in solidworks oh yeah you can see that so uh, y and z, uh, x and y are flipped. So my y is down the length of this, and SolidWorks is x is down the length of it. So you have to flip those. All right, so uh, we start with the obvious. This thing weighs 39, we'll call it 40 kilograms. Hopefully I don't make you sick. And then uh, to find the center of mass, you just, oh, actually, hold on. I've already done that. There's a button here that I've already checked that says create a center of mass feature right here, if you can see that. So you click that button and then it gives you this, which is the center of mass. And you can measure it. So we're measuring from uh, that point in space which uh, doesn't look like it's the right point in space. Let's try that one more time. Uh, 
Oh, there it is. Yeah. There. All right. So then we're measuring from the face of the robot. And in my eyes, this doesn't have to be perfect, but we're getting a shift in X, Y, and Z. So this Y dimension is actually Z on the robot. So it's coming out towards you. So that is uh, 17 centimeters. Here's down here and go 17. Oh, whoops. That was supposed to be on the Z. Let's try that again. Don't put those in millimeters. The pendant will freak out at you and say that you're maxing out its capacity. Three and a half centimeters in X. So we come up here and we say 3.5. And then uh, this long one is the red one, which is the Y direction. Uh, cameraman again, 51. So it's way out in X. Uh, honestly, I don't know in reality when we pick it, which direction it's gonna go. I might have to flip the sign on that, although I'm not sure that you can put the sign in a distance or that the machine is there. But, okay, so now here comes the next part. We're gonna go back to mass properties. That'll be a better camera. And then I'm just gonna. try to copy all this. And then I've created a little Excel spreadsheet that um, basically, here's your factor, then you plug in the numbers that I'm about to paste in, and then it gives you a FANUC input, what you put into the pendant. So I'm just going to hit paste right here. All right, so we've got, uh, I'm gonna pause it real quick and type type these numbers into there. There's probably a smarter way to do that, but I didn't want to spend the time to do it. Okay, okay so I typed the numbers in. Uh, that one is the two that are the heaviest for 34 million. This is 400, 475,000, and that's uh, kilograms, millimeter squared. Anyway, then we convert it to FANUC's uh, kilogram force, centimeter times second squared unit. Uh, we got 4.8. Oh, hold on, I forgot to tell you. You have to make sure whatever coordinate system you're picking out of, you have to choose the right one. So I was supposed to put that last one in Y. So 4.8 actually goes in wide. Uh, and then 351 and 352, we'll just tell them both 350. I go in X and Z. And I'm worried that this is going to be too much. And they tell us, oh, it wasn't mine. Luckily we bought, oh, hey look, it's close to capacity. We bought a giant robot, so hopefully it'll pick this part. If not, then we'll have to just change the layout of where the part gets presented to the robot. We were trying to pick it off the end to make it easier for the design. But uh, that is how you do it. Uh, I searched in the forums, couldn't find anything. And then I just started going through the definitions of, of units, essentially, and came to what I came to. If it's wrong, I'm sorry. You get what you pay for it. But, uh, Good luck.